Well, in this position, we're in our bike stand. Yeah, it's like a shoe here. Stand. You should have a fairly at ready stand. I couldn't imagine you guys would talk to a suspect and like, you know, I, I feel like I'm going to be on my toes and ready. If I have to talk to somebody, I'm in a ready position here. Okay. Versus, oh, buddy, the body language. I'm open, I'm talking to you, but like, I'm not on ready. This is a confident position. It's not really threatening. If I have my hands up, I usually show the palms. That's usually less threatening. Like, hey, what's the problem? What, what do you have to say? What's going on? This is my fight stand. This is not threatening. You're like, hey, like, maybe <laughs> this. Somebody's got a problem. Like, what's your problem? And that already escalates things. But if I'm in here like this, this is like my stance. You gotta be ready for somebody to hug in there. Make the move. You gotta be more sure. Like, there you go. And just that. Like, now you can't really get to your gun. Can you? I well, went for this and you block one up there. Uh, I wouldn't worry so much about the Amazon right here. You have a big position right there. If I do block you here, I, I could double up. I have a lot of control here. Okay, but, but my big thing is I want to make sure I'm paying attention to your hands and shoulders. Most times what's going to happen is this guy comes in and block. This hand's going to try to do something. I'm looking to block or grab the wrist, especially if I'm paying attention to where my equipment is. Really careful. I don't want to be in this side too much. Oh, right, grab you guys. If the enemy shoots and I have to block and I have to do this, fine. Do transition. As long as I keep that frame, I'm fine. Okay, so I keep pushing at you. you. Don't let me push you backwards. You're going to circle, but maintain your frame. That's not wrong, but that wasn't the normal downlock. So well, you'll notice when we're up this far, it doesn't matter as much. As long as you're getting something in between me and the target and you're moving the target, you're pretty good. That was a cross block to my single leg pad, but it still was perfect. You still dug the frame. Frame's the most important part. Keep pulling down. Pull my head down, make me look at the ground. It gets guys really tired. But you fall over a lot more too. You're like, you can pull down. Yeah. Because I'm still head to head, face to face, I feel like I can still do something. So part of this is like, you want good technique to shut things off, but you also want it to feel like it's hopeless for the other guy. He should be like, fuck, I don't want to do this. But if he's chest to chest with you, look at you now, you might get confident. Like, yeah, I'll make take this guy. But if he's doing this, like, oh, okay, 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 okay. It's a mindset. It's like with my, with my dog. I put him on his back, he's like, mm -hmm. same thing. Put somebody in a, in a certain position, they'll just give up. I rarely, I'm going to have one point of contact and then move it without another point of contact. The rope climbing thing, to make sure the monkey swinging through the branches, I gotta make sure I got another branch. So I'm doing this, I'm making it here. And switch it off. He could go plunk though, pull his head down, you have your knees and stuff in here too, or just snap his head, block you off, and then I start snapping you. You teach your hands over that. See, even if all you do is snap him down, him getting back up makes him tired. Then you do it again. You do it to him 10 times. Are you gonna stop? You done with this? Yeah. Yeah. Put you guys' hands on the mat.